You may be wondering how scoliosis is detected. Scoliosis can be detected a number of ways, but two of the most common are, one, at a consultation with your trusted care provider, or two, during a school screening. What are school screenings, you ask? School screenings are conducted at your school and performed by a school nurse, athletic coach, or PE teacher. School screenings may take place at different times for boys and girls. Because boys and girls generally mature at a different rate in different ages, girls are typically evaluated in 5th or 6th grade, and boys in 6th or 7th grade. School screenings are state-mandated. Check with your school to see if they offer scoliosis screenings. Several things to look for when screening for scoliosis include 1. Head appears off-centered between the hips. 2. One shoulder appears higher than the other. 3. One shoulder blade is more prominent than the other. 4. Trunk and rib cage appear shifted to one side. 5. Waist appears asymmetrical. 6. One hip appears lower than the other. And 7. Clothing hangs unevenly. One test your care provider may perform is called the Adams Forward Bend Test. As your spinal curve develops and the spine twists, asymmetry of the rib cage or waist is created. A scoliometer is used to measure the amount of rotation. Trunk rotation is determined with a forward bend at the waist and is a reflection of the severity of scoliosis. A rotation of greater than 5 to 7 degrees suggests scoliosis may be present. Okay, so after your care provider or school nurse identifies signs of scoliosis, what is the next step? At the time, you will most likely be referred to a scoliosis specialist to confirm you have scoliosis and analyze the severity of your spine's curve. A few things that may happen during your visit with a scoliosis specialist. One, review of the patient's health history and the family history are gathered. Two, the Adams Forward Bend Test. Three, x-rays of the spine are obtained confirming the sections of spine with abnormal curves. Four, in some cases, your specialist may order an MRI to examine your spinal cord. Finally, your specialist will begin discussing a recommended treatment plan with you. Scoliosis can be treated non-operatively or operatively, depending on how large the curve is. Non-operative treatments include 1. Observation 2. Bracing and 3. Scoliosis-specific physical therapy. Operative treatment is surgical intervention and considered when the curve is significant or likely to progress after the patient has stopped growing. Learning you have scoliosis can be scary, but your trusted care provider and organizations like Setting Scoliosis Straight are here to prepare and support you throughout this process. Coming up, Chapter 3 will go over non-operative treatment options particularly bracing. Chapter 4 will address operative treatment and additional information about surgical intervention.